okay now go back to your dream weaver here you have uh, the file now what you're going to do to put an image in here click on again click on ul dot menu bar horizontal a double click in here click on background remember to uh, uh, select the uh, no background color here and click on browse and click on menu bar uh, you can go to the same path, uh, go under images folder and click on menu bar of jf file, click OK and in the repeat, say repeat x axis. It will repeat the x axis up till the uh, how big the box is and say apply and say OK. Now you will see there are some issues here like uh, this is only uh, this is only available on the uh, boxes where the like uh, you can see the arrows are not available they only the, those effects have come but no no need to worry about like this is i can fix that uh, now i want my hover um, image as well just click on again the ul dot menu bar uh, horizontal a dot menu bar horizontal which one i have already mentioned you earlier again select no color click on browse this time select the menu hover image and say OK and again repeat X axis and say apply and OK. Now if you will see a effect you can see like it's in a light shade and here also you can see a light shade. This you can see light shade. This is my hover in color, my hover button. Okay. So now what I want to do is wherever the sub menus are you need to fix those values as well. So here just scroll down a little bit after that you'll see menu bar item sub menu menu bar item sub menu uh, ul a dot a dot menu bar item sub menu hover a dot menu bar item sub menu hover so here you need to change the values click on a dot menu bar item sub menu you'll see a background as a gif file this is actually these are the arrows what you were seeing here i'll show you these are the arrows this is the arrow what they're what the like um, this is the gif file they have mentioned it there so you don't need these uh, arrows now now you need to have the buttons so what you will do click on background just delete this uh, gif file from here click on browse now you want menu bar dot gif here and click on repeat x axis and say apply okay if you will see again now you can see my all the but uh, items here has those uh, uh, effects those buttons on them so this is the way how you can change uh, for the hover as well like here you can see it still doesn't have that effect this particular bar doesn't have effect so it it uh, you need to change the hover one so first you need to change again uh, a dot menu bar items of menu hover click on background again delete this image here and click on browse click on hover here and say ok repeat say x axis just delete these background positions you don't require these background positions here and say apply and say ok now if you will see the effect this time also like uh, this thing has changed but these hovers are still like it's still panning which have the sub menu items so again I need to go to uh, a uh, ul a dot menu bar item sub menu click on background again delete this file click on browse menu bar wherever the uh, hover is mentioned you need to put the uh, hover image wherever the menu bar is mentioned you need to put the menu bar image say apply and say ok and for the hover again oh it's already done uh, this one is pending here click on background delete it browse again the hover one okay and again the re repeat x axis just delete these background positions and apply and okay now let's see now if you will see this is working fine this is working fine and these sub menus are also working fine so you can put any type type of image any type of color or like uh, how you want your website look like this is the way how you can change the uh, background of your menu bar you can uh, edit the 
like uh, you can put uh, different different images or you can modify your or you can make it more attractive now uh, like uh, if you want to change the font size or the font color of this uh, menu bar this way you can do is okay so now here uh, if you want to change the color of your um, like a font or if you want your uh, font to be on a different style on a different size so what you can do is click on you will dot menu bar horizontal li remember li just double click on it there is a type in here here's a phone family so what you can do is you can select any of them from here let me select comic sense ms cursive and uh, if you want your uh, like uh, font style normal italic or oblique whatever you want you can select in here so you have different different options here you can play with these options and you can like uh, make your own uh, font uh, more attractive just click on apply and okay so here you can see my font has changed to uh, comic sense uh, style so this is a way you can change the um, style of your uh, font now if you want you can see here like my all my like uh, items when you items are left aligned like they are not center aligned so what you can do is click on split here now click on um, click on yeah go to ul dot menu bar horizontal ally item now here you can see text align as in the left just make it as a center and click on design now here you can see all my text are center aligned so this is the way how you can align your uh, text as well so this is the tutorial here you can see like how you can change the color of your background you can change the images of your background uh, thank you guys see you in a different session Bye-bye.